Have you ever watched movies like Blade Runner or Dune and noticed how their visuals stand out? A great man doesn't seek to lead. He's called to it. What if you could use those same iconic lenses with just a click of a button? In this video, I'll show you an add-on that lets you bring lenses like the Helios and others straight into your 3D scenes. There is a link in the description which will lead you to the Blender Market. The add-on has a light version, and by luck, the famous lens used in Dune is available in it. The one that I liked the most was this 85mm 1929. This add-on is worth having, and if you want to support the channel, get the Cinematic Compositor add-on, which is 25% off with the link in the description. After downloading the zip file, open Blender and head into Preferences. Navigate to the add-on section, click the arrow in the top right corner, and select install from local. Locate and open the zip file you just downloaded and you're good to go. Don't forget to save your preferences and close the window to finalize the setup. To use it, open this panel and you'll find a new option right here. Now you have two options, either import the default camera or convert your existing camera. Just click the one you want. From here you can easily change the lens, adjust the focal length and modify the depth of field focus. This add-on is incredibly simple to use and a tutorial is available for all its advanced settings. Let me show you the difference between the lenses. But before diving into that, here are the best settings I use to achieve this render. I've used this 1929 lens which gives a really cool result. I also selected the focal length option to manually adjust it which adds this subtle vignette effect to the corners. I didn't use chromatic aberration here because my cinematic compositor will already handle that for me. In the advanced tab, I added a custom aperture for the background blur. You can create this aperture in Photoshop. After that, under the emulation tab, I increased the bloom and glare amounts to 0.1 and that's it. This add-on already works amazingly and I highly recommend trying the light version. It's perfect for starters. And if you're ready to take things a step further, check out my cinematic compositor. It'll make your renders truly cinematic. Let me show you the difference between the lenses.
I hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe.